Just a short while ago, sadly, we learned that a local Catholic priest accused of sexual abuse has posted bond and is awaiting release from jail. His name is Father Manuel La Rosa Lopez. He's accused of sexually abusing children while he was assigned to a church in Conroe. Channel 2's Lee Felici is reporting live from that priest's current church in Richmond with the investigation. Lee? Bill, investigators say that two victims reported abuse to the Galveston-Houston Archdiocese, but that church officials did not contact police. It was the victims who recently contacted police. As investigators left the rectory and surrounding church buildings with evidence they had collected, St. John Fisher Church in Richmond was reeling. I find it hard to believe. Their priest, Father Manuel La Rosa Lopez, stands accused of four counts of indecency with a child from 20 years ago at a Conroe church. Ace Hernandez used to attend mass here in Richmond with his family. He's always been a good, uh, good priest, uh, a good role model for all of us here. Um, very friendly. Father Manuel turned himself into Conroe police yesterday. Documents show he's accused of abusing two children from 1998 to 2000 at Sacred Heart Church in Conroe. Why children? You know, are you not man enough to come out on your own and, and you know, handle someone your own? age size spurred on by the recent child sex abuse cases in the Catholic Church a man recently came forward to say while he was in high school father Manuel sexually assaulted him at Sacred Heart Church in Conroe shortly after that a woman came forward to say that father Manuel inappropriately groped her at the same Conroe Church when she was a teenager the Archdiocese of Galveston Houston said the same procedures were followed in both cases and Father Manuel's response was the same. The Archdiocese immediately reported this allegation to Children Protective Services as well. Father La Rosa Lopez has denied these allegations of sexual abuse. And we have learned that Father Manuel has posted bond on these charges and he could be released at any time tonight. We're live in Richmond. Lee Felici, KPRC, Channel 2 News.